the loss of 14 young lives and those of a dedicated educator, an athletic director, and a security guard, all, by the way, beloved coaches, and each protecting other students from the gunfire must be, please God, the last time we have to witness this. Let me be perfectly clear. Nothing we are doing here can be a replacement for comprehensive gun safety reform at the federal level, including a ban on military-style weapons, preventing those with mental illness from having access to guns, and instituting universal background checks on all gun sales. There must be action in Washington. Ours is the only nation in the world where these scenes unfold time and again. Enough is enough. And if you don't want to listen to my plea, then listen to the pleas of the students. In the absence of federal action, New Jersey will be promoting a regional effort to combat gun violence by bringing states together in common cause to safeguard our communities. A significant majority of crime guns in New Jersey, in fact, I believe it's widely viewed to be well over 80 percent, come from out of state. So it's important that we take a regional approach. We're working aggressively on this issue with like-minded states and expect to have an announcement soon. Meanwhile, New Jersey will continue to act in the interests of our communities by enacting the common sense gun safety laws we need. The legislature has sent these bills to the governor's desk before only to see them vetoed. This time will be different. I also support, and I can say we also support because we just talked about it, common sense measures to ensure that individuals determined by a mental health professional to be a threat to themselves or others do not have access to guns. We must make this law and together we will.